Today is a very special day. We reserve the first Sunday of every single month for baptism. And we say it around here like this, when something's important, you put it on your calendar, don't you? You schedule it to make sure it happens. And baptism is something that we hold uh, very dear to Cultivate Church. It's a part of the foundation of who we are because we believe that uh, it's important because it's a complete interaction with uh, our testimony to Christ. One, it means that God has changed our heart on the inside, that God has done something and that we want to take our faith public. And also we believe it's the next step of obedience to a relationship with God, that it's the very first thing that He wants us to do. And this morning we've got three uh, people that are going to be baptized with all just incredible stories. Uh, Jennifer Fondren is going to come first. And uh, Jennifer's been a part of our church for two or three months now, and uh, God has just done so much in her life. When she came the first Sunday morning, she ran up to me, gave me a hug, and said, I'm so glad to be here. And I thought to myself, I'm so glad you're here, but who are you and why are you jumping all over me? Because she was so excited. I mean, she was just, you could tell that God had done something in this girl's life. And this is what she said to me. She said, I've made a lot of mistakes. She said, I gave my heart to God when I was a little girl. But like so many of us, we find ourselves, life just comes and it happens. And we find ourselves away from God. And she said, but I got put in jail. And she said, while I was in jail, she said, I gave my heart to Jesus. But she said, now don't think this is jailhouse religion. She said, because it's not. She said, God's done it. And can I tell you, she was here at 530 this morning helping the setup team. She was sweeping the floors, vacuuming, making this place great. That's how you know God's done something real when you're here at 530 in the morning setting up. So today she just said, I want people to know that Jesus is my number one and I want to take my faith public. So let's turn our attention to Jennifer as she's baptized today. Jennifer, because of your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's incredible. Brian Castleberry is going to come next, and Brian and um, Jennifer are engaged to be married. And Brian told me when he decided to come to church, I said, Brian, how did it all happened for you. This was the story for Jennifer. What about you? And he said, well, it wasn't so glamorous. He said, she just told me one Saturday night, I'm going to church tomorrow with or without you. You can come or you can stay home. He said, so I just decided that I would come. And he showed up. And God so changed his heart that morning. He left. And this is what he said to me. He said, this is how you're supposed to feel when you leave church. And the next Sunday, he came in and uh, Jennifer had already kind of told on him, but he made this statement. He said, he said, what God has done in my life, he said, I was afraid to go to sleep. He said, I was afraid that if I go to sleep, I would wake up the next morning and I would feel differently. He said, but every day I got up, and he said, I was more and more excited about a relationship with God. And he took his next steps. When you give your heart to God at Cultivate, we give you some next steps just to tell you how to grow in your relationship. And he said, I just, that's all I knew to do. I just took those next steps, and I began reading. And he said, God has just absolutely changed my life. And today, he wants us to know that Jesus is number one, and he's taken his faith public. So let's turn our attention toward Brian this morning. Brian, because you placed your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so awesome. Kathy Williams is going to come next. And uh, Kathy tugs my heart every time I think about Kathy. Because when we launched this church... 15 months ago, not knowing who would be here or if anybody would be here. But Kathy was here on our launch day, and she gave her heart to Jesus that very first day that we were here. And Kathy came in with a little boy, and they were all ready and together for church and looked like they just had it all together. But the more we've gotten to know Kathy, she tells the story of what she's been through. Kathy's lived in a, an abusive relationship. She was physically abused, emotionally abused, verbally abused in a marriage that she was in for quite some time. Kathy's struggle has taken her in and out of homes and shelters. And just to be real, church, she told us this morning, she said, there was a day that I walked into a pawn shop. She said, I went to buy a handgun. She said, because I was so mad and I was so angry. She said, but as I stood there and I remembered what God had done, she said, I prayed and peace came and I left. She said, every day I give my heart, my life to Jesus. And she said, I know that God is going to use me to reach other people 
who have walked in my shoes, who have felt what I feel. And church, I believe that, don't you? I believe that for Kathy this morning, that God is going to do that, absolutely. So this morning, she wants us to know that Jesus is number one, and she's given everything to Him, and she's going public with her faith. So let's celebrate with Kathy this morning. Kathy, because you've placed your faith in Jesus Christ, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 